By 2030, the next generation of the internet, known as Web3, will be generating $33 billion in revenue, according to Grandview Research. Innovators are excited for the transition to self-sovereignty, where every user owns their own data. Today, user data is owned and monetized by corporations. Bishan Ventures closely follows market trends and invests in building crucial infrastructure for permissionless and decentralized networks. Mustafa, with Beeson Ventures, you're looking at all things crypto and everything around the world of decentralized finance and beyond. But one of the things that's really emerging as of great importance is decentralized identity. The two billion plus people that don't have an identity and finding a solution for them that's secure and that's reliable is critically important. How do you think investors should be thinking about decentralized identity and, and the tools that are needed to make it happen? Identity, I think, uh, in general, is something really quite sensitive uh, for individuals. And I think in crypto and in blockchain, identity combined with zero knowledge proof could be a very interesting area uh, to explore. But I think with zero knowledge and the DID combined, uh, user can, in the future, will be able to choose when and how to share their identity securely without revealing sensitive information. Well, what do you think are the key elements that are going to be needed to make this something that users can, uh, consumers, users can engage with quickly and easily and be reliable as well? Currently in Web3, a lot of the application fields still not user friendly, but I, yeah, think with no a better, <laughs> I think with a better infrastructure, people's experience will be more and more similar to uh, Web2. What are the Web3 applications and early use cases that Beeson Ventures is most excited about? That, that question, I'll rely back to our uh, core investment principle. Uh, in general, we look at investment in three categories, principle in three uh, area, permissionless, uh, decentralization, and self-sovereignty. And when we look at the investment in Web3, we look at uh, infrastructure and application. On infrastructure side, we love to continue to support more founders in the area of uh, creating more scalability on blockchain, creating bridging solution, um, creating decentralized storage. And then on the application side, we're looking at more consumer application in specifically in this uh, market cycle. We're looking at much more game fi, social fi, and we're looking at uh, MPC wallets, uh, which, which could all be used to onboard next million or billion users into Web3 space. One of the concerns for government, Mustafa, is that on the other side of this, visibility and knowledge of people is needed for security uh, purposes. And corporate uh, security purposes. So how do you think companies should be thinking about making that decision on what information should get shared when? If you're interacting with like a government agency, then sure, um, they should have like a greater access uh, to your personal information so that they don't mix up your tax return with someone else. Uh, but I think if you're a corporation that's just like providing a platform such as, you know, social or gaming, um, then I think you don't need that much amount of information in your uh, customer's identity or assets. Um, in, in, that, in those regards, I think the um, information sharing should be kept at bare minimum. If you need to verify it, you, you could verify it, but you don't need uh, access to full, uh, full data. Are there any uh, great emerging founders or emerging companies that you're most excited about? OpenBlock basically is the MPC, MPC wallet. Uh, in the current crypto uh, wallet, when you are logging uh, into your crypto wallet and trying to interact with a Web3 application, oftentimes you're using wallets such as MetaMask or Phantom, where you kind of need to uh, memorize your private keys. And that hasn't gone well for me many times. Right. Yes. So I, I think it's a bit unrealistic to imagine next it's million. It's a very difficult user interface. So I think MPC wallets serve a great purpose and bridge between the traditional Web2 custody solution and crypto native wallet. Because from user's uh, perspective, the login process is going to be exactly the same as how they log into their email. They just need to register with their email and password. And then on the back end, the private key is uh, ownership of the private key is distributed to different parties. So I think it's a great bridging solution for the user to keep self custody experience the Web2 onboarding experience while interacting with Web3 application.